After Uganda passed the bill, the sanctions on the Speaker of Uganda's Parliament and on the sponsors of those bills, we will serve notice as well that if they replicate the same with our Speaker and members of Parliament, we will also take action against their business interests in our country. Because they... But let me use this opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to celebrate Mr. Speaker, who has been a stalwart and a bastion for this bill. But for Mr. Speaker, this, this bill would most likely have been killed. Mr. Speaker has stood his ground and ensured that this bill has come this far. And I want to use this opportunity with the support of my colleague members of parliament, since we all support this bill, to serve notice to the Western powers that we have taken judicial notice of what they have done to the Speaker of Uganda. After Uganda, after Uganda passed the bill, after Uganda passed the bill, the sanctions on the Speaker of Uganda's parliament and on the sponsors of those bills, we will serve notice as well that if they replicate the same with our Speaker and members of parliament, we will also take action against their business interests in our country. Because they, they serve in this country and make money from here and take back home. They cannot hold us to ransom. And like has been asked on this floor, Mr. Speaker, why is it, why is it that the American Secretary of State has not sanctioned the Secretary of Defense? Because June was declared Pride Month and they had transgender parades. The U.S. Secretary of Defense blocked and stopped a transgender parade on a U.S. Air Force base because he said the U.S. Pentagon, which is their defense headquarters, would not support such activity. Governor DeSantis has passed legislation against open transgender parades in Florida. Why have they not taken on their own citizens? In fact, in 2022 alone, there were 433 actions in state house of legislatures across the United States, banning and clamping down on homosexuality. The Supreme Court of the United States, SCOTUS, just last week, passed a landmark judgment enforcing the rights of American citizens to refuse to offer services to people on the basis of their faith and because they were LGBTQ. Mr. Speaker, it shows you that even America has realized the error of their judgment and are walking back their steps. Italy, 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 Italy in June designated June also as Family Protection Month to counter the, 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 L, the Pride Month. Maybe that's something Ghana should begin to consider, that we made June a Family Values Month to celebrate the Ghanaian family value. But Mr. Speaker, in wrapping up, in wrapping up, Mr. Speaker, I just want to state that the dangers, the dangers of homosexuality are great. Persons who are homosexuals or transgenders, per statistics from the CDC, have at least six times higher rates of obesity, substance abuse, and suicidal thoughts than heterosexual people. This has a consequence for our health bill as a country public and, and public health, and we cannot turn a blind eye to this. I want to thank every member of this house who has supported this journey so far, especially the committee as well. So guys, I did a video yesterday, the day before, on the Kenyan, um, Kenya passing the, the, um, the LGBT, anti-LGBTQ bill into the law, law. But this is actually just before, so you can see here where he's saying, don't try that trick or that sanctioning thing you try with Uganda when you take away the visas from the Speaker of the House and a few key members in, um, in Uganda after they pass a bill. Now Kenya had passed that bill. What he's saying is if you try to do what they did to Uganda to us, we are going to take actions against American business interests. We're going to hit you where it hurts in your pocket. So, you see, because what he's saying, if you listen to him carefully and he have proof of this, even in the states, they have places where they are pushing back and ban uh, and LGBTQ marches and pride festivals and um and they're they're um like what he said, it's been happening in a few states in the, in America. So why are they why are they not sanctioning those people are lacking them? But why you want to come to Uganda, to Africa and still enforce this? You have to do this else or else. So what he's saying, yo, we see you trying to manipulate and switch switch the um this human rights argument when you are violating human rights in your own country. They want to paint Africa as these big violators 
And as you said, Kenya did what Kenya, not Kenya, Uganda did what they do for their citizens unanimously. Kenya did the same thing unanimously again. All 275 members of Uganda, sorry, my bad, of Kenya signed onto this bill. Opposition and leading party, both. So it's, it's not um, it's not like it's a slight or it's they're trying to be um what's the word prosecutory no he's saying it's a collective group of people come together and say no this is not our values this is not our laws this is not this is not this is not our culture this is not sit well with us because they are paying people in africa to push this agenda they are actually giving them money millions of dollars to push these kind of agendas in, the, in these countries and as i was saying that's why president Museveni, if you're gonna say we don't need your aid money because your aid money is solely and only uses to promote the homosexuality in African countries. And Kenya pick up on that same thing. But now Kenya have a little more power because they do more businesses. They have more business in Kenya than in Uganda. So now they're saying, we're going to now sanction American companies once you try to sanction any Kenyan parliamentarian or um, speaker of the house um, ever. So. Again, shout out to the continent of standing up now and setting up border. And we need to take that step further and stop all our resources from exporting out of Africa to these said countries who are sanctioning us. So no more resources, that's the next step. That's why I say Kenya President Root of Kenya, which to me he's gonna be like a next unifier, he's gonna be somebody like Gaddafi, which is a unified African country. Okay, what he's talking about and preaching currently and putting into practice, it's unity and um but do away with the u.s dollar one currency no borders to fight against these colonial powers anyway thanks for watching let me know what you think about this in the comment section if you think um what kenya is doing is it's logical or if it's not so let me know what you think about this in the comment section boom